Hello, I am Akimoji Nogula no Victor, a writer, a social commentator, a computer scientist, and Oracle certified professional and programmer. The excellence of this documentary is a result of symbols of integrity industry style, commitment, accessibility, humility, transparency, accountability, intellectual capacity, inspirational ability to galvanize his people, to hire lofty and common purpose, and his extraordinary performance in all phases of life are the factor that truly motivated the entire populace to be the apostle of his ideology. Some are born great, others achieve greatness. Why some have greatness drop upon them? For those who achieve greatness, the path to greatness is always laid with hard work, perseverance, dedication, commitment. Why we live, we embark on a series of activities, absorbing experience which enable us to formulate a philosophy of life and to chart our course. We are mortal, immortalizing ourselves by our activities. This can be said of Ogbeni Rao Adesoji Arebeshola. However, he is much more a politician, a public administrator, a teacher, a technocrat, my builder, groundbreaker, a sport enthusiastic, pragmatic, resourceful, liberator, hardworking, an ebullient, an enigma, an egalitarian, a mentor, a great and outstanding achiever, a discoverer, source of inspiration, a role model, and international public figure. The world is a place where we struggle for position, for power, and struggle for authority and influence in many areas, even struggle for survival. It is true that he was born like any other person. It is also true that by dint of hard work, dedication and love of humanity, he has achieved extraordinary things. By, by making humanity to realize that power is responsibility. Engineer Rauf Adesoji Arebeshola was born on 25th of May 1957. He had his primary and secondary education in Ondo State and later attended the Polytechnic Ibadan where he studied mechanical engineering and graduated in 1980. As a pupil in primary school, Rahu was a center point around whom his mates hovered for guidance and direction. As a student, he was focused for remarkable a performance, which he made distinctively and seamlessly. In the Polytechnic, he positioned himself to conquer his environment by engaging in prolific studies. He is a fellow of Nigeria Institute of Management, a fellow of the Society of Engineers, a fellow of the Nigerian Association of Technological Engineers, and a fellow of Certified Marketing Communication Institute of Nigeria. Rauf Aregbeshola has a wealth of experience garnered through wide exposure in the private sector, such as Nigeria External Telecommunication, now renamed Nigerian Telecommunication Limited, and Lagos Airport Hotel before he established his own engineering services company in 1986. His involvement in politics dates back to his undergraduate days when he was speaker of student parliament between 1977 and 1978, the Polytechnic Ibadan, and the president of the Black Nationalist Movement between 1978 and 1980. He was also an active supporter of progressive students' movement nationwide, which earned him, for instance, the live membership of National Association of Technological Students. In June 1990, he became an elected delegate to the Social Democratic Party inaugural local government area congress. In July of the same year, he was also a delegate to his first national convention in Abuja. Engineer Ralph Arabeshola 
as a pro-democracy and the human rights activist was a major participant in the demilitarization and pro-democracy struggles of the 90 period to his appointment as the Lagos State Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure between 1999 and 2007. He was the director of Bola Ahmed Tungu campaign organization, which engineered the electoral victory of Ashwag Mebala Ahmed Tinumbu as the governor of Lagos State in 1999. He performed similar feats using the platform of independent campaign group to ensure the election of Ashwag Mebala Ahmed Tinumbu for a second time in office. Engineer Rauf Haribeshola acquainted himself excellently as commissioner for work and infrastructure in Lagos State between 1999 and 2007. With the strength of his commitment to selfless service, his diligence, sincerity, tirelessness in the administration of the vast ministry of war and infrastructure, as well as supervision of the Public Works Corporation and the State Electricity Board has been acknowledged as being responsible for the outstanding success recorded by the Tinumbu administration, especially in road rehabilitation, maintenance and street lighting, an achievement that solidly laid the foundation for the actualization of Lagos State as a model of development and good governance has been sustained to today. Indeed, it is known far that he is one of the brain behind the infrastructural engineering and re-engineering that has now resulted in transformation of social amenities in Lagos State. Some of the noble achievements and innovations are due to engineer of Arabeshola visionary quality and enterprise, including the redefinition and application of new artistic standards to the ministry blog and offices as corporate workplace, vision, mission definition, annual staff retreat, and modern manpower capacity building trainees, introduction of facility management processes, pioneering achievement in public relations and IT operation, pioneering private public sector partnership venture, award-winning best practices project ETC Exeteria. I have believe in the sanctities of the law is a centenary and you have on the platform of the then Action Congress contested for the governorship of Ocean State in April 2007 election and won. To be so declared, however, too close to four years of what must go down as one of the Titanic Monday recovery legal battles of all time. And a moment for the manifestation of the omnipotence of Almighty God and his steadfastness in support of those who relied on him. Having gone through the tribunal of four systems, an appeal, a retrial appeal, the second appeal court delivered judgment on October 26, 2010, declared Arabeshola governor and he be sworn in in the next day. Ogbeni, Ralph Adesoji Arabeshola, since assuming office as the governor of the state of Oshun on October 27, has redefined the meaning of governor in public sector, not just symbolic posturing, but real and sustainable intervention that will enhance the quality of life of everyone that lives or work in the state of Oshun. Rebranding of the state as the Ikmile Omoloa be the state of the virtues started from himself 
Adopting the title of Benny simply Mr. In just over a year, the chronicle of achievement is outstanding and summarized as chain of home model. The most important quality of a good leader are integrity, character, and judgment. These qualities are possessed by Ogbeni Rao Adesoji Arebeshola. He has made remarkable strides in developmental agenda of the state of Oshun in his eight years as the executive governor of the state. He has turned the ones of urban and rural communities into the heave of activities in area of agriculture, infrastructure, social and political space that have redefined the state social protection space program for his transformational agenda and indelible footprint he left behind in the administration of Oshun, no doubt people tag him as the architect of modern Oshun. Ogbeni's effort in redesigning the landscape of modern Oshun in all phases of life during his tenure as the chief executive governor of the state meant so many things to so many people in his clear wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of governance that made him to perform excellently was that he changed the citizens' behavioral attitude, orientation, and reorientation to human development and branding and rebranding of the state. At the beginning, many doubted its ability and sustainability considering the huge debt and the rot he meant on the ground as scarce human resources with skill and knowledge to revive the state from slumber. Where his major concern, the tone did not underestimate the challenges. Ahead, rather, he said as ambitious as possible the vision for the state of Oshun and the people to restore the dignity as a virtuous, independent and prosperous. But was able to technically overcome those challenges by assembling of right-thinking human beings to work with them in handling the affairs of the state. The best prize that life of ours tends to work at what it's doing.
Ogbeni Rauf, Arabeshola administration, is reputed to have doled out over 20,000 free eye medical glasses to virtually impaired persons, just as free treatment was given to the farmer to rescue them from the debilitating diseases while tuberculosis and leprosy patients were treated free of charge in all state hospitals. Effective daily routine immunization was put in place at all health facilities in the state while over 4 million insecticides insecticide, treated mosquito nets were distributed to households just as free medical checkup was organized for the civil servant. The Rauf Agricultural Administration also established tuberculosis control laboratory in Malaysia, while nine primary healthcare facilities were refurbished and supplied with essential drugs to increase safe delivery by skilled bird attendants. The procurement of 25 sophisticated armor personnel carrier, 125 patrol vehicle, fully equipped with modern gadgets for 24-hour security patrol, building of the Multifox Security Control Center in Oshobo, building of state-of-art police stations, procurement of helicopter for security surveillance and emergency response, as well as setting up a dedicated crime response team, swift action score, are some of the steps taken not only to make life interesting, abundant, comfortable, enjoyable, and stimulating, but have also earned Oshun as Nigeria's most peaceful state during his tenure. Nengsin Mandela Freedom Park is also a site to behold to the recreation facilities that now draw the entire space. Atrocious intervention in the hospitality has been very encouraging. About 80 tourist attractions were added to the existing ones in the state. The Rauf Aragosha led admiration to serve commendation for spearheading a process that has consistently led to year-on-year -year improvement in internally generated revenue, IGR. Oshun is said to be Nigeria's second richest state and it is second on human capital Human Capital Index and has maintained the second position in four years in a role in the Global Multidimensional Poverty Index. The state is now Nigeria's fifth largest economy with its GDP growing at 7.3% per annum. Other interventions like OSHU Microcredit Scheme, the Quick in Impact Intervention Program or Rehab established to rehabilitate and regenerate persons with mental disability. Also, ambulance service, elderly persons, welfare scheme known as Agbaoshu and own windows were also part of his administration effort to boost productivity and promote income diversification and ameliorate the effect of income, poverty, as well as economic and health-related issues. Ogbeni Rauf Adesoji Arekbeshola is a born strategist throughout his life, whether as a pupil, student, or career man, political appointee, or governor. Ogbeni Rauf Adesoji Arekbeshola has applied the arts and science of strategy to ensure success in all endeavors in which he is engaged. He strategized and was outstanding as a student, 
He strategized and was efficient and effective as a career man. He strategized and was accomplished as a graduate politician. He strategized and was excellent as commissioner in Lagos State. He strategized to reclaim his mandate when he was rigged out in the raid to offer selfless service to the, the good people of Oshun. He strategized to lay a sound foundation for a regenerated Oshun knowing fully well that sustainable development does not happen with quick fixed methods, tools and techniques. He has strategized to position Oshun and the good people of the state appropriately in the geopolitical milieu of Nigeria. He is a vibrant believer in the doctor that strategy did not fail, so he did not fail the good people of Oshun. Committed to a better and egalitarian society. Ogbeni Adesoji Aregbe Shola, though fully anxious to build a society with massive physical infrastructure that promotes better living, believe in his first pursuit of those human values that can pave way for the emergence of total man who is socially responsible. He stares the honestness often, but these are in his determined attempt to break the norms to achieve extraordinary results. It is worthy of note to categorically state on our belief, trust, hope, confidence in the leadership of Ogbeni, Raouf, Adesoji Arebeshola, because of abundant of qualities, traits, full of vision, mission, commitment, self-sacrifice, and agent of change for better men. Ogbeni Raouf Arebeshola is a dynamic leader, beacon of hope, the change agent of creating the nation of our dreams. He has sense of humor and liberation like Chief Obafem Awolowo had to his people. He has the heart of father and service like Mother Teresa had to humanity. He has heart of humility and forgiveness like Nancy Madiba Mandela had to the people of South Africa. He has given love to the generality of people like Church Whistle, Admama Gandhi, gave to their people in their trial time. Ogbeni Raouf Areguashola has made a significant contribution to society and has legacies that stand the test of time. Conclusively, I hereby recommend to individuals, corporate entities, and institutional authority at all levels to make use of Ogbeni Raoul Adesoji Arabeshola template of legacy of transformational agenda and indelible footprint left in the administration of state of Oshun as a case study for developmental process in Nigeria and the world at large is super and exceptional performance as technocrat in private public sector, as commissioner for works and infrastructure in Lagos State, and as the chief executive governor of state of Oshun, I what led to his appointment as a minister in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thanks. God bless Ogben Rauf Adesoji Arabeshola. God bless the state of Oshun. God bless the Federal Bureau of Nigeria. I remain Akimojin Ogunlano Victor.